It all begins from observation of the natural world. At this point in life, um, I can comfortably say that there are miracles around us. We just need to open our eyes and see them. My name is Meg Leonard. I'm an artist. I'm a landscape painter, retired from nursing. For me, every painting that I do is deeply personal and I put it out there because of what I've learned from how other people are impacted by it. People get teary-eyed or they breathe deeply and, and I think that's very healing for people. Let's all stop and really take in something that you love or the memory of a quality of light, something that is really a transcendent experience. And I think the art is a vehicle for that. When I just get in there, my whole body is in it, and that's really the way you, I was trained to paint. It's very physical. I develop the whole painting at the same time. It comes together, and, and it's a dance. It's very musical to me. The sound of the leaves rustling, I, I love that. I'm very, very grateful to Albuquerque and the Urban Enhancement Trust Fund because that is so important for validation for an artist who's working in solitude for the most part. Receiving that grant carried me through a time when all of us were suffering with the economy changes with COVID. And that, that meant so much. It's just this recognition that what we do really has value. And um, I think throughout the ages, that's what artists really rely on, public support. I think when I first came to New Mexico across the border, I was dazzled by the contrast that nature provides naturally in colors. I hope the city of Albuquerque and every city for that matter has an arts funding program to continue to support artists. Um, all of the fine arts are essential for a well-rounded individual growth and development. And then the community takes such great pride in what comes from their creative people. And if we can get more people to feel validated through public funding, it, it has to continue.